Go. This intercession is made at a place of great significance. The place where the Solemn League and Covenant was signed by the Covenanters. And that it was for Scotland that these men, many of them who laid their lives down for the, for the Word of God, laid it down for God Himself, that they stood for the Bible and they stood against the Church of Rome, absolutely stood against it. And at this place which that Solemn League and Covenant was signed, there has another spirit come in, the very spirit of Satan himself. Because walking round this, this graveyard, there are skull and crossbones. There are signs of witchcraft with the branches, the twigs. And this place undoubtedly was one which was used to inspire that book, the books of Harry Potter, to inspire the author of Harry Potter. And it is the place of occult that has been, has come now. Occult has come out of this place, come out and placed itself in this Harry Potter because it speaks of what wizards it speaks of spells and it has blinded absolutely blinded across the world particularly children young people to be what placed under this demonic satanic spirit of witchcraft and the occult and this is now fully exposed to all the world it is ex it, it exposed before the very throne of God in the throne room of God that now as intercession is going to be made that out of this place will be cast the occult and the witchcraft and that the stronghold through these, this Harry Potter will be utterly and completely bound by the victory of the Lord Jesus Christ through his resurrection life through the one who is glorified and what does the word of God say Psalm 24 and verse 3 to 5 who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord or who shall stand in his holy place he that hath clean hands and a pure heart who have not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessing from the Lord, and righteousness from the God of his salvation. That this place, which has undoubtedly been taken over by the very devil himself, that it is now coming to thee, O God, O God, I bring before thee, through the, thy beloved Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, and his authority of his victory at Calvary, that he was raised from the dead, and that now you will bring about a cleansing, a cleansing of this place, a cleansing completely of this place, that every demonic spirit at work through this Harry Potter, through this witchcraft, through this occult, through these wizards and through these spells which have blinded the young ones, that they are now utterly and completely defeated through the power of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and through the power of his blood, that he and he alone will have preeminence. And what does thy word further say? in Isaiah chapter 44 and verse 3 for I will pour water upon him that is thirsty and floods upon the dry ground I will pour my spirit upon thy seed 
and my blessing upon thine offspring. O oh God, bring about that there will be in Scotland once more a thirst for thy word, a turning back unto thee, and that the floods of the Holy Ghost will be outpoured, and the resistance of the Reformed Church will be absolutely broken. That demonic spirit which is resisting, even in that which calls itself Church and Christianity, is utterly and completely exposed now, and that the resistance to the Holy Ghost is driven out completely and utterly under the feet of the Lord Jesus Christ, that Jesus Christ, his spirit, will sweep through Scotland to the glory of God the Father. And thy word further says in 1 John and chapter 3, from the first verse, Behold what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew not him. Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. And every man that hath this hope in him purify himself, even as he is pure, O oh God. That which is the filth and the sin within the church in Scotland, bring it, Lord, to repentance. Restore the preaching of the gospel. Restore that preaching which calls sin, sin, and sinners, sinners, and call sinners to repentance, even those, Lord, within the, the churches themselves, that they're not born again of the Spirit of God and washed and cleansed through the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Bring them, Lord, convict them of sin and raise up those who will preach the gospel in the power and the authority of the Holy Ghost under the unction and in the unction of the Holy Ghost and that purity will be fully restored to the church throughout Scotland. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law for sin is the transgression of the law and ye know that he was manifested to take away our sins, and in him is no sin. Whosoever abideth in him sinneth not. Whosoever sinneth hath not seen him, neither known him. Little children, let no man deceive you. And, O oh God, how many have been deceived, even by that which it goes as preaching in the church that he doeth righteousness, is righteous even as he is righteous. Bring, Lord, righteousness, thine own righteousness, back into the body of, into the body of Christ, that Christianity will be filled with Christ, absolutely centered in Christ. Christ our life, the hope of glory. He that committeth sin is of the devil, for the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. And I fully expose now, and on the basis of thy word, O God, and through the authority of the Holy Ghost speaking through me, I absolutely pull apart and tear down every evil demonic spirit at work throughout the whole of Scotland and look to restore. Come in, O God, and honor, honor the signatures of those of the Solemn League of Covenant and sweep aside, blast them, Lord, by thine own blast, those who dare to come and bring the occult and the witchcraft in. 
Whosoever is born of God doth not commit sin, for his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin, because he is born of God. O oh God, bring back those who will yield their lives to thee, to be born again of God. In this the children of God are manifest, and the children of the devil. Whosoever doth not righteousness is not of God. Thy word is so clear, O God, that those who are, have not thy righteousness within them, who are they? They're, they are of the very devil himself. They're filled with the devil. And drive out, I drive out, Lord, the blood of Jesus Christ, the power of the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ. And what was it in Scotland in the past? In these ones who signed their lives of that covenant, signed in their own blood, O oh God, those who were martyred for thee. What did they have? They were spiritual men. And the enemy has come, the enemy of souls, the very devil himself, and through this, particularly in these more recent years, this Harry Potter, and is absolutely blinded and deceived through the occult and through witchcraft and pacified not just Scotland but many, many millions and millions throughout the world pacified the nation of Scotland keeping them subdued and passive towards God they like other nations have become absorbed with their own personal interests and quest for intellectual status instead of focusing on the Holy Spirit and his power to deliver their nation. And, O oh God, bring in an awareness of yourself, O oh God, that from the very north of Scotland, right throughout Scotland, there will be that awareness once more of God, the awareness of the spiritual, and the children will have the opportunity of hearing thy word instead of this which is of the occult and witchcraft. Set three, O oh God, thy word says, ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Honor your word now, O God. I challenge you to honor your word, that your word once more will take away the blindness from the hearts of those within Scotland and right through the whole wide world, the whole world for Jesus, for Jesus Christ shall because he shed his blood, which washed and cleansed repentant sinners, and bring, Lord, the very fullness of God in Christ Jesus to be the preaching and the teaching of the resurrected, ascended, and glorified Jesus Christ, that he is what? He has utterly and completely destroyed the works of the devil. He has utterly and completely made an open show of every principality and power of darkness, of every demonic spirit at work through that has worked in this place and dares to even keep working. You are destroyed. Go now to the place where God sends you to, to the glory of God the Father. But this is asked of Father God that Scotland is once more set free to come back to that which the Covenanters gave their lives for. For this is for thy glory and thy glory alone, O God, O Father, because it is asked and received, it is done through the authority of Jesus Christ speaking through me into this this he has spoken and it's all for thy glory it is all done and O oh father Jesus Christ is given the preeminence and everything that has stood even for centuries against is now banished completely it is an open heaven once more in Scotland to the glory of thee, O Father. Amen.